A friend of mine challenged me to try printing with this pre-line white polycarbonate. And the first thing I wanted to do was look at the reviews. And this guy said, stay away, poor diameter control. And this guy said, prints well for polycarbonate. So I was feeling like a 50-50 coin toss here. Let's check it out. Okay, so we're going to unbox this again. Good sturdy packaging. This is the pre-line polycarbonate white. The B-side has the temperature sticker on it. And that cool carbon fiber effect. The temp is supposed to be between 230 and 260 centigrade. So I'm also going to check the dimensional accuracy with my micrometer. And I actually did throughout several hours of printing and I didn't see any variation. Let's get a close-up look of the material here. You see it's nice and bright white and smooth. So I was just printing PET-G on this Ender 3 and that was running at between 230 and 240 degrees with the bed at 80. So I figured I'd be able to run this material on that printer as well. It took a lot to dial in the temperatures and for some reason I had to go level the bed even though I just finished printing on there with the PET-G before. But you can see I'm just dragging plastic around here. So it's kind of a combination of getting the right temperatures dialed in and getting the bed leveled. So I finally got to the point where I felt like I was printing something and this first piece blew my mind. It was a good sturdy quality piece. I was feeling pretty good about it. But that part you saw printing right next to it actually just broke apart in my hands and it was really traumatic. There's a very little unnoticeable warping that just seems to take apart the layers. So I did manage to get this fin can printed on the Ender 3 and it's a pretty decent part. You can see the finish is pretty smooth all together. But there's this little crack there. Again, you had this slight warp and this layer separation. I was really concerned about having rocket parts with that kind of effect going on. And then you can see another crack there and here larger cracks in the can section. It's just really very disconcerting. I used more infill, more support, and it just got worse. So I'm going to move away from the Ender 3 and go back to the trusty ANET A8 where I was printing this carbon fiber polycarbonate successfully before. And we're going to go ahead and drop a hood on it to keep the temperatures even and we'll see how it goes. So this is pretty desperate for me here and I want to get a successful print of this fin can. If I can do that then I should be able to print anything. So I've gone ahead and re-engineered this. I want to make sure that I have three wall thicknesses, basically three perimeters, because I'm not going to use any fill on the fins. The less plastic you put out, the less warping. This is my experience from ABS. I've printed fins like this before in ABS and basically found that if you didn't use any fill, then you wouldn't get the warp. Also, make sure to turn off cooling. That fan blowing just causes warping all along. I'm also using an O3 layer height so that we can print basically faster. Yeah, the quality is reduced slightly, but it's going to go faster. Using tree support and a brim, so we should get some good adhesion on the bed and plenty of support for those open spaces in the can. And my temperatures are 240 degrees on the hot end and 80 degrees on the hot bed. So the print time for this was close to five hours. I kept an eye on it and you could see the ends of the fins were warping up slightly. They came up off of the heat bed, but the bulk of the object remained cemented well to the bed. So I was confident that as long as the object remained stably seated on the bed, this was gonna come out just fine. And here you can see it sticks to it right to the end. Looking good. So we'll take a look now. Okay, so here we can see that finished part now. 
And this is really solid, but those three wall thicknesses, those three perimeters, this is a really sturdy piece. That polycarbonate came through really fat on the A8. This is just bomb proof. I'm really impressed with the weight and the strength of this polycarbonate. There's a little cleanup to do. Got to get that tree removed. So let's go ahead and get a close up look here with the microscope camera. And you can see a very smooth layers, no layer separation. And then we go out and look at the ends of the fins and you see there's none of that separating, no cracking there at the edges either. That's really great. So I'm very much more comfortable with this material on a direct drive printer such as the ANET A8. And it's just in time too because there's a rocket launch tomorrow. But let's recap. So first of all, dial in your temperatures. Second of all, use a hood. Third of all, turn the fan off. Reduce the amount of plastic so that you reduce the amount of warping wherever possible. So cut back on your infill or eliminate your infill if possible. And hopefully you'll enjoy the same results I did with this pre-line white polycarbonate. All right. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to Shotoku Tech so little Jimmy can have legs, won't you? Thank you very much.